in this video I want to through these two results uh, that means you add the first n natural numbers so we add from 1 to n the, there's a neat formula which is s is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 and if you add the first n uh, sum of squares of the first n natural numbers that means 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared till n squared the formula is n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 uh, 2n plus 1 over 6. So let's start with this because we're going to use this formula to prove this. Okay, so uh, let us define s as 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus dot, 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 plus n. Let us define s as the sum from 1 to n. Okay, now if you do n squared minus n minus 1 the whole squared, what would you get? Well, this is n squared minus n minus 1 the whole squared is n squared minus 2n plus 1. And if you expand this further, this is n squared minus n squared plus 2n minus 1. Okay, so this n squared and this n squared get cancelled. So we can write n squared minus n minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 2n minus 1. Now what does this mean? n, n squared minus n minus 1 squared means this is square of a number. Take away square of a number one less than this. Okay, so if you go, if n is 1, if n is 1, it will be 1 squared minus 1 minus 1 is 0 squared. So using this formula, if n is 1, n minus 1 would be 0. Then it will be 2 times n, which is 2 times 1 minus 1. If n is 2, it will be 2 squared minus 1 squared, which is 2 times 2. 2 times 2 minus 1. If n is 3, this will be 3 squared minus 2 squared. I want you to see a pattern developing later on. So this is 2 times n. n is 3, yes, so it's 2 times 3 minus 1. And it does make sense. This is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5, and 9 minus 4 is 5. This is 4 minus 1 is 3. This is 4 minus 1 is 3. And 2 minus 1 is 1, and 1 squared minus 0 squared is. So if you continue this pattern, if you continue this pattern, n squared minus n minus 1 the whole squared, we're continuing this pattern, and we already know n, n squared minus n minus 1 the whole squared is 2n minus 1. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add this whole thing. I'm going to add the whole thing from Okay, this is what I'm going to add. Okay, so let me drag this up. So we can say adding. Adding. What will we get? When we add this whole thing, uh, what can we see? You can see this plus 1 squared and minus 1 squared will get cancelled. Plus 2 squared and minus 2 squared. Same way 3 squared with minus 3 squared will be cancelled. So all these terms, so here... The term before this will be n minus 1 squared min minus n minus 2 squared. Okay. So this and this will also get cancelled. So what remains, I, uh, if you don't understand, pause this and try to understand what I've done. So if you, we are adding basically all these expressions from this to this. So this and you can say diagonally it will get cancelled. So everything will be cancelled except this n squared minus 0 squared. This will be equal to, you're also adding this side. So this will be 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 times n. So if you take factor the 2 out, I can write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n minus how many times of minus 1? So you can say n times 1. 
here you've got m squared is equal to two times what have we defined this as one plus two plus three plus n we have defined as s so this is two s minus n and adding n to both sides you can write n squared plus n is equal to two s okay now what can we do if we factor the n out you got n plus one divided by 2 is equal to s. So this is a very good formula, very neat formula. If you want to add from 1 to any number of, let's, any, uh, any number, suppose let's add from 1 to 10. So let's add from 1 to 10, 1 plus 2 plus 3, let us do without the formula first, 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Okay, so here, this you can do very easily. So this is 110. So then you got this. Uh, how many lots of 10 do you have? So you got, this is one lot of 10. This is the second lot of 10. This is the third lot of 10. And fourth lot of 10. And this is five lots of 10. So this is 55. Okay, so let's use the formula. So if you want to find S for this, so N is 10. So your S would be 10 times 11 divided by 2, which is 2 goes in 10 5 times, so 255. Okay, now I've got a calculator which adds this, so let me show you. So if you go to table, if, I get, if you've got a graphic calculator, and type in X there, and I'll say this is set from 1 to 10. You may not understand what I'm doing, but the calculator is a very neat uh, device where it will do all the donkey's work. Now I'm going to transfer this to the stats menu. So I'll go option, list, and I want to go take it to the list memory of stats. And then you go execute. And then if I go to stats, it's sitting here. Now if you scroll down, I can go option, list, and then if you press F6 and press sum, and then again go option, list, list, list one. So it will give me the total 55 there. So there we go. So this is the total of from, from 1 to 10. Now if you want to do from 1 to 100, so let me first do on a calculator and then use the formula to. So I'll go from set. 1 to 100 and I'll go execute table okay now I want to transfer this to list 2 so option list and list 2 execute and if you go to list 2 this is sitting here so so let me scroll down it will take a while so so I'm going to add from 1 to 100 here. Okay, so yeah, we're almost there. This is 80 and this is 100. So again, I'll go option, uh, list, F6, F6, sum, again, option, list, list, 2. This will give me the total there. 5050. So what I'm saying is if you add from 1 to 100, so let me add from 1 to 100. So this is 1 plus 2 plus 3. I want to add up to 100. So my n is, n is, n is 100 here. So using the formula, s is 100 times the next number, 100 times 101 divided by 2. Okay, so let me, so this is same as 50 times, five, 2 goes in 100, 50 times, so this is same as 50 times 101, and that's what we got, 5050. Okay, I am running out of time, I would like you to do this formula, uh, try to prove this yourself, I will give you a hint. I'll give you a hint here. The hint would be like this. So S you're going to define as 1 squared plus 2 squared 
plus 3 squared plus up to n squared. And the formula is you have to go n cubed minus n minus 1 the whole cube. Okay, so as for I mean, adding from 1 to n, it is n squared minus n minus 1 squared for finding the sum of squares of the first n natural numbers, you have to use this formula. I want you to simplify this and you can get this. Okay, I want you to do this yourself, so this is a challenge and I will come back and make the video for this problem.